And this is a pretty special night because we're doing the Monticello Cellars recipe collaboration. And it's been so long, I'm about to go back and see exactly what the hashtag is. I'll put it up here. But we're going to be making old fashioned pork spare ribs. Look at this beautiful uh, rack of spare ribs. And we're going to be using one of the Monticello Cellars. This one, you can't probably see it, but it says Filipino Spice. So that should be a, a ginger based vinegar, a chili basil. Which we have not used either one of these. And I'm excited to try them. Uh, this is the first one we got. The garlic lovers. And you can see that thing's about gone. Um, so these go a long way. That's We haven't had to open any of these. We are going to open the Filipino spice tonight. And use it to marinate this pork. Now. When you're using vinegar as a marinade. Vinegar is great for tenderizing meat. The problem with vinegar is you really only want to marinate it for about 15 minutes. 15-20 minutes is all it needs. Longer than that, the fibers, after they've pulled apart and tenderized, they pull apart so much with the vinegar, they start to mush back together and you can get something a little spongy. So when you marinate, it's great. I usually use apple cider vinegar. Especially with pork because it makes it a little sweeter but we're going to be using this Filipino Monticello Cellars wine vinegar it should be a great base it should tenderize our meat and it's really going to add some unique flavors to these ribs so we're going to put it in a marinade for 15 minutes and then we're going to take it off the vinegar we're not going to rinse it off or anything we're just going to take it off kind of pat it dry and then we're going to season it with a dry seasoning. I'll show you that when we get to that point. And then we're going to let it sit for about an hour or two. And then we're going to cook it. smells delicious I can smell the ginger in it, in it the good thing about this is you can find them online uh, Monticello Cellars or you can find them on YouTube at the Vineyard Chicks so go over and check out their channel the Vineyard Chicks You can tell them we sent you. Now the only other seasonings that we're going to be using on this is the garlic salt, which we make our own. We just really like to use the old uh, containers. They're re really handy and already labeled. Ground cumin, which we are not growing yet. But on the list of things to grow. And we're going to be using um, Root Boy Rub too. Chicken and Pork Rub. And it has kosher salt, black pepper, onion, smoked paprika, chili powder, cumin, mustard, and ginger. And you can find this rub on uh, uh, Root Boy Cooks here on YouTube and then we're gonna use black pepper and you know what there's already cumin in this I think we'll 
skip the cumin for now. Just the garlic salt and the root boy rub. Matter of fact, yep, no garlic salt. So black pepper, root boy rub, garlic salt. And the star of the show is the Monticello Cellars Filipino Spice Vinegar. Really going to make these spare ribs their own unique, delicious flavor. So the Filipino Spice Vinegar, it's clear, so it's deceiving, but because it does smell a lot like teriyaki. So it has a teriyaki kind of scents to it, but there's a sweeter smell to it also. It smells really good. So when you're cooking in vinegar, uh, you just put the vinegar in and cook with it, and it adds the flavoring to that. That's a whole different episode. I'm sure if you stick around and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, you'll be alerted if we ever upload a video where we're cooking with vinegar, and I'm sure that will happen here in the future. But for this application, marinate, marinating it, 15 minutes is all you need. Then we'll pat it dry and dry season it. Let it sit for a couple hours. Now there will still be a little bit of vinegar in there because we're not taking it out of the meat. We're not rinsing it off. But we're going to take the base out and the majority of the vinegar off the outside. The, the flavor will stay and it'll be the right, perfect tenderness. So after the 15 minutes, you're just going to pat, pat dry it with a paper towel. Both sides. Beauty about cooking it this way is normally we would sweeten our pork with barbecue sauces, brown sugar, molasses, a whole bunch of sugary stuff. But marinating it with the uh, wine vinegars, it's going to add a sweetness to it and you're not going to need all those sugars. Um, and you're still going to have a very pleasant and delightful um experience eating these spare ribs so if you're diabetic or you're trying to cut back on sugars this wine vinegar is a great way to add some sweet flavor to your pork and tenderize it at the same time and uh White vinegars and the apple cider vinegars, which I usually use apple cider vinegar, are are great options, but over at Monticello Cellars, you can add flavor along with it. Now we're going to add, we're going to start with the black pepper and do a generous amount of black pepper on all of it. Garlic salt, not much, don't want a lot of salt. We're going to finish up with the Root Boy Rub number two. I can still smell the vinegar on there and the combination of these two are absolutely amazing. Alright, we're going to let those rest for about an hour or two. And then we're going to cook these up. We'll bring you along for the taste test.
you've heard, but if your bones pull right out of your meat, you've cooked it too long. It should be tender, juicy, and stick to the bone. Hey Sal, rock on! <laughs> the meal we got the spare ribs our sweet corn from the garden actually our neighbor's garden go back and watch that and um, some baked beans that Tammy made up and check out these ribs you can see how tender it is let's give it a taste test All right, try it together, we're ready to eat. Nice snap to the meat, very tender. And flavor bombed all the way through that. That's a good, good tasting piece of meat, huh? Mm. That's how you should eat a rib. That's how your spare rib should be. And all this stuff pulls right off. No. It's not as sweet as it'd be with barbecue sauce on, right? But, no sugar in this, and it is delicious and sweet. Go check out Monticello Cellars. MonticelloCellars.com. You can order yourself some vinegar. They have a lot of different flavors, and they have some wines coming out for the holidays. So, go over and get you some before they're gone. You can be enjoying some delicious, and you can also check the hashtag Monticello Cellar Recipe Challenge and see the other um, recipes that people have come up with with their with their vinegars. We hope you enjoyed this. We like doing these videos for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. We'll see you next time.